All right, good job working your stay there, Kath. Okay. All right. So, first off, you want to make sure that you're not releasing with motion and your verbal cue. You both take off at the same time. And I know you've worked really hard on your start line. So see how you said okay and you both are taken off. Remember to have, you know, release dog moves and then you move to have a little bit of time between and you don't want to release um, with motion simultaneously. All right, as far as the switch exercise, you, let's see, let me see, Oop. okay, right when she's about there, um, your path, you want to, you're moving forward and then you want to move on an angle. Okay, you want to cross behind this red hoop and your path should be on an angle. Eyes, fingers, toes pointed towards the outside of this hoop um, and you, and say switch, you're saying switch early, good job, and then move on this path. Because if you cross behind this hoop, you will stay in motion and not get stuck up here like standing still and then having to try to switch her and drive her there. But if you drive forward, switch on an a and then move on an angle um, you will be able to stay in motion and she'll know where she's going okay let's watch it again all right do you see what i'm talking about here when you release with motion right there good good all right you you did a good job of keeping your let's see okay right arm forward looks good there and then your left arm is coming up. Good job. So just if you say it earlier and move your path on an angle, it will help tremendously. Okay. I also would put your bucket out like about here. That will help keep her driving forward. Um, so anyway, I think that if you drive forward, move on an angle, you will be able to get her to keep driving as she goes around from the red hoop to the blue hoop. Good job, Kath.